hey, I bought H.O. Wonders free on release. And it is such a fucking disappointment. <sighs> okay, firstly, I love H.O. Wonders 2. I love it. It is my favorite fantasy turn-based strategy game of all time. I spent countless hours playing Disciples 2 and every Heroes of Might and Magic game ever made, but still I rate Age of Wonders 2 above all. It is a game that provides a challenging, unique experience that you can't get anywhere else. An actual experience of being a mage and a ruler. And what does Age of Wonders 3 do? It takes away that experience. <laughs> it's like the devs thought. Hey, you know that thing that makes Age of Wonders good? Yeah, fuck it up and sauce. We don't need anything good here. Only blood shit for us, please. I may be overacting, and I probably am. The game itself uh, is not bad, it is just mediocre. It is okay, it was downgraded to being just okay. Because the main thing is gone, the tower and the mage inside it are gone. In Age of Wonders 2 you were playing a mage that sits in his enormous tower in the middle of the greatest city known to man and rules the land from the top of it. He sends armies led by mighty heroes to conquer faraway lands with one hand and cast spells that bring mountains to naught with the other. He doesn't engage in combat himself because he can summon dragons onto the battlefield to do his bidding. He doesn't roam the land because he has heroes that follow his every command. All he does is rule and weave spells to strengthen his domain and vanquish rival mages because only other mages have a chance to outwit him. And what do we have now? Ah, uh, just some self-righteous fucks running around with swords with an elf chick that doesn't want to get married as their leader, whoopty fucking do. Yeah, so the towers are gone, and the area of magical influence is gone with them. You can basically cast spells everywhere now and your main hero is no different from other hired goons that he takes with him. Except in campaign mode, if the main guy dies, he resurrects and returns, and if any of his friends die, it's game over, bitch! And they die a lot. AI being an annoying little shit it is specifically targets these heroes, so the best solution more often than not either not to use them at all or just auto solve all the battles. So you're skipping an essential part of the fun because of the obnoxious losing conditions that could be easily evaded by just allowing you to resurrect these heroes the same as you can rest your main guy. By the way, notice that I use a term hero a lot. It is because this game is essentially a hero of might and magic game wearing a skin of recently deceased H.O. Wonders. May it rest in peace. I've got a whole lot of other criticism like AI that abandons cities as soon as you get close, basically gifting them to you, and doesn't use fortifications whatsoever, busy, unintuitive UI, upgrade system that doesn't make a fucking sense, moral system that doesn't seem to affect anything, lacking relationships between races. <laughs> Just all of it doesn't matter, because the game doesn't feel and doesn't play like a Nature Wonders game, since it lacks the essentials of a Nature Wonders game. It is a Heroes of Might and Magic game. Arguably a better Heroes of Might and Magic game than Hero 6, for instance. But you know what? If I wanted to play Heroes of Might and Magic, I wouldn't buy a game called H.O. Wonders 3. <sighs> the name's Grvachar, and I shall see you from within my next video. <laughs> and send me the fucking account activation email, for the fuck's sake!